It's time for Catching Up with Carly presented by Meyer, and today's guest is Tigers outfield prospect Riley Green. How's it going, Riley? It's going good. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. We're so happy to have you. All right, so you just got home about a week or so ago, correct me if I'm wrong, from instructional league camp down in Lakeland. How did it go down yeah. there? It was good. I mean, I got, to, um, I got to meet all the new guys that just got drafted. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, geez, I've known those guys for maybe a month or so, and I feel like I'm best friends with them. So, yeah, I mean, it went, um, it went really good. The practices went good. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like we all got a lot better over there. Awesome. All right. So as you mentioned, Cam helped introduce you to some other prospects in the Tigers organization that you hadn't played with before. So was it nice getting to know them and being able to familiarize yourself with their gameplay? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, it was Gage Workman, Trey Cruz, uh, Spencer. I knew uh, Spencer from Toledo when I uh, when we were there. Um, Colt Keith and uh, Daniel Cabrera. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Geez, like he, he was um he was my locker mate. So geez, I should um I should have known that. But yeah, I mean they're they're um they're all good guys. I mean they all work hard. So I mean I'm I'm really happy that they're with the Tigers. And we are too. We're happy you are as well. But how did the instructional league camp differ from spring training and Tiger summer camp? Um, I mean it wasn't much different. I mean there was just different guys there, but we were pretty much doing the same things. I mean it was more. It was more like practice based than games. I mean, we played instructionally, we played like, I think like, geez, maybe like five or six like real games. And then we played some, um, some inner squad games. And when we were in Toledo, we were playing them, we were playing inner squad games like almost every day. So, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't much different, but um, yeah, I mean, I miss some, um, I miss playing against different people every day because um, it's kind of hard when you're playing against your own, um, your own teammates and you hit, you hit a ball hard and you're like, oh, sorry, dude, I didn't mean to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I saw a video of you hitting a homer during a camp earlier this month. So how, how important is it to make those big plays during these camps? Kind of like how uh, you had that home run robbing catch you made back uh, in July during camp. So, I mean, it, it's, um, it's always fun to make plays. I mean, uh, the home, I hit a home run in the stadium. I think that was my second, my second home run. Yeah, we were, we were playing the um, – the Tigers World Series or whatever it is, and just to make it fun and competitive. And there was a lot of trash talking going on, and um, they hit a home run. And that was the second game because we were down by one game. So we ended up winning that game, and I hit the home run. I mean, it was um, it was cool to see all the guys, like like all the competitiveness towards that just in, just in like a squad game. So it was pretty cool. Love it, love it. Um, and very fun and very cool to hear Tigers new manager, AJ Hinch, said, those are dudes when referring to you and your buddy Spencer Torkelson and said that you two are franchise type players. How does it feel to know that you're on Hinge's radar? I mean, that was, um, that was really cool. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, I'm just going to, I'm going to take it day by day. I'm going to work as hard as I can to get to the big leagues. So, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to work hard, play hard and hopefully one day I'll be there. And what do you think you need to prove in order to earn that spot on the Tigers roster next season? Uh, just get stronger, get faster. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, make sure my outfield uh, skills are um, are on point and um, make sure I keep hitting. So. And before I let you go, I wanted to ask you about the budding bromance that seems to be forming between you and Spencer Torkelson. <laughs> How cool is it to think <laughs> that this is a guy you could make your big league, big league debut with and play together for years to come? So, I mean, to start, Spencer as a person is a really, really, really good guy. I mean, we rode together to the field every single day when we were in Lakeland. So that was pretty cool. Um, um, yeah, I mean, he's a really good ball player, too. Works very hard. Um, he just made the switch from first base to third base. And just seeing how hard he was working at that was really, really cool. So, um, I mean, but yeah, he's a really good guy. I mean... We were planning some trips together. Like, like I was, I was gonna go to Arizona. I was gonna go hang out with him. He was gonna come down to Florida. And we were gonna fish. So I mean, yeah, I mean, the um, friendship's there. So I mean, I'm excited to see what happens in the future.
Love it. And I know you're back home and should be for the holidays. And I have to ask, I know we talked about this before we started this interview, but are you the kind of guy who decorates before or after Thanksgiving for Christmas? All right. So I don't decorate. My mom and sister decorate. I just help get all the stuff down out of the attic. But um, they decorated before Thanksgiving. And I mean, <laughs> I mean, looking around the house right now, I mean, it's pretty, um, there's a lot of decorations around. So <laughs> Love it. Well, hope you enjoy, enjoy the time at home. Riley, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. Again, thanks for joining me on Catching Up with Carly, presented by Meyer.